Hi friends, it's Miss Mary. I hope everyone had a really good day off. I miss you guys and I cannot wait to see you guys on Monday. Today I am going to read you guys a story and when we're done, Miss Casey and Miss Teresa have posted some fun snowman activities to go along with the book. So make sure to check them out because I cannot wait to see your guys work. So our book today is called Henry and Mudge and the Snowman Plan by Cynthia Ryland. On a snowy day in January, Henry and Henry's big dog Mudge saw a sign in a store window. It said, Snowman Contest Saturday at the park. A snowman contest, said Henry. Wow. Mudge wagged his tail. He always wagged his tail when Henry said, wow. It meant excitement. And sometimes it meant dessert. Henry ran home to tell his father. Henry's father was in the basement painting a chair. What color do we think he was painting the chair? Let's take a look. It was green. He had green paint on his hair, across his nose, and in his mustache. Guess what, Dad, said Henry. Mudge was looking for a special old boot. What, asked Henry's father. He wiped some paint across his chin. There's a snowman contest on Saturday, said Henry. Snowman contest, said Henry's father. He wiped some paint on his ears. Wow. Can we go? Asked Henry. What do we think? What is Henry's father going to say yes? Sure, said Henry's father. He wiped some paint on his elbow. Henry looked at his father. Henry looked at the chair. Dad, I think that chair has been painting you, said Henry. Look at Dad with all the green paint. Henry's dad looked at himself in an old mirror. He had green hair, a green nose, green ears, and a green elbow. Henry's dad looked at Henry. He said, you should see me when I paint a house. Where does he have paint? Good job on his nose. On Saturday, Henry and Henry's father and Henry's big dog Mudge went to the park. There were many people there. Look at all those people. All of the people had things. What kind of things do we think they had? I see a shovel. Someone has a hat, a scarf. Let's see what else they have. They had rocks and carrots and marbles and broccoli. Broccoli, said Henry to his father. And of course, they all had dogs. It looks more like a wagging contest to me, said Henry's father. Mudge wagged and wagged. Henry and his dad had already made their snowman plan. They looked at each other. They shook hands. Good luck. Break a leg and don't let the bed bugs bite, said Henry's father, and they got to work. While Henry and his father built their snowman, Mudge visited. Who do you think he visited? Let's take a look. He visited a poodle. He visited a husky. He visited a dachshund. The dachshund didn't want to visit him. Then he found a carrot to chew on. Do you guys like carrots? Mudge likes carrots. A chihuahua helped him chew it. Mudge finished his half first. It looked like the chihuahua might finish her sometime in July. Mudge wagged and gave her a kiss. 
By three o'clock, all of the snowmen were ready for judges. Henry and his father looked around the park. What do you think they saw when they looked around the park? What kind of snowmans do you think we're going to see? Let's find out. There were snow people. There were snow cats. There were snow dogs. And even snow aliens. Look at all the snow people they saw. And one person had built a snow Abraham Lincoln. Wow, said Henry. The judges walked all around. Henry was feeling nervous. He held Mudge's collar. Holding Mudge's collar always helped when Henry was nervous. I hope they like ours, Henry said. Me too, said Henry's dad, holding Mudge's collar. On the other side, what do you think they made? What kind of snowman do you think they made? What do we think that is? Finally, the judges arrived. They looked carefully at the snowman Henry and his father had built. They looked at the front. They looked at the back. They looked all around. Finally, one of them asked, what is it? What do we think, guys? It's my dad when he's painting a chair, said Henry. The judges looked again and laughed and laughed. Mudge wagged and drooled on their boots. When the winners were announced, first place went to Abraham Lincoln. Second place went to a snow leopard. Who do we think third place went to? Third place went to the snowman with paint in his mustache. Yay, yelled Henry. Henry and Henry's father proudly looked at their prizes. What do we think they got as prizes? One was a purple ribbon. It said third place, most original snowman. And the other prize was a big box of snowman cookies. I sure am glad you're a messy painter, Dad, said Henry. I'm an even messier eater, said Henry's father. And he and Henry and Henry's big dog, Mudge, took their prizes home and made a wonderful cookie mess. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Make sure to check out the activities that are posted. And most of all, have fun today. And I'll see you guys Monday.